Hi guys, this is Fred from WP Shout. Today I'm going to be looking at the Squarespace website builder and seeing how well it works. Um, and I'm going to be kind of comparing it to trying to do a similar project with, with WordPress and seeing where Squarespace is strong, where it's weak, how easy it is to use, that kind of thing. So I've got a project that I actually intend to launch at some point. It's a website that I want to launch for my, for my own use. Um, and here is just a very, very simple um, list of requirements for the website, and I'll get more into detail on these as I, as I actually build the site out. And I've just got a Squarespace free account. I haven't paid any money or anything. Um, so Squarespace lets you create these test sites. And I'm just going to create a test site and see how deep into my list of requirements I can get um, and just keep going until... Uh, until the site is actually done or until I feel like stopping. All right, so the first thing that happens when you go to launch a test site, I guess, is you get to pick a template. And this thing I want to build is actually a meditation um, service. It would be a meditation startup. Basically, what it would do is it's meditation counseling for people using a particular framework I developed that helps people understand their meditation practice in five particular ways. So we're going to want something that is um, sort of feels like a business site as opposed to a blog, but that has kind of a very clean and sort of mindful look to it. Um, <laughs> this one is called Ohm, which is maybe like a little bit extra, but let's just see how we do here. See if it's a design I feel like I can live with. Uh, I don't really like this font. Let me just see what it is. Font family. Din condensed web. I don't really like it. It's sort of a, I don't like these tall fonts. Let's see what else we can find. So we're in health and fitness. Most of these actually look like fitness. This is kind of pretty. I sort of like the black and white. Preview Amon. Um, nah, I don't really like the whatever this is. The the way that the background image is. I just feel like, I always feel like that's going to be hard to manage. I, I know that obviously the 2017 WordPress theme has the same thing, but it always makes me a little bit uneasy. Uh, okay, maybe fashion and beauty. Oh, this is kind of nice. Let's see here. Nope. Online stores. Entertainment. Nope. Hmm. Professional services. Artesia. Let's have a look here. Jasper. Kent. I love these names. <laughs> yeah, they feel like uh, the names of just random people pulled out of like a, a, a like a rich private boarding school somewhere in uh, New Hampshire or or Connecticut. Project Sprout. Okay. Oh, can I close this outer? Can I? Okay, I just want to actually view it full size. It's pretty. Kent. Kent is pretty. Yeah, I might. I, I'm gonna go with this if I can't find something else I like in the next couple of minutes. I don't like the JavaScript slidey photos. That makes me uneasy. Yeah, I feel like there's not enough here. It's just like, just this cascade of photos is not really anything going on. Okay, I'm going to look for about another minute, then I'm done. Hmm, I like the um, the full screen image here. And what is this? Ah, actually. Mojave. Dedicated to the protection of the Mojave Desert. 
see, because I could see putting my logo right in this middle space here. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. I could see putting my logo in this middle space. And then, yeah, menu items along the top. Nothing special about the typography, really. Actually, I hate, sorry, that's a strong word, but I really hate the light gray against the white. It's, it's almost impossible to read. Um, not that that's probably not changeable, but ugh, this is so uh, like just bad, just unreadable typography. Okay, so this is the about thing. Yeah, I'm so distracted by the typography. Okay, well. Huh. Our team. Okay, whatever. All right, I guess I give up on this, on Mojave. Preview Sonora. Okay. Yeah, I, I wish they would like kind of get over the, whatever this is called, where the images kind of move at a different rate than the thing in front of it. I, I rarely want that effect when I'm seeing it like everywhere, um, like in every one of these templates. Make your own lip balm. Okay, this this could be good for like a meditation site, I feel like. Yeah, this is pretty. Okay, let's look at Rover. Hmm. Yeah, I really love these huge featured images. They feel really good. Um don't like the typography, way too small. I'm sure I could change that. Services. <sighs> Let's see, okay, and then this thing, Kent, was nice. Yeah, this is nice. I could, I could just go with this typography without having to think about it. Rover, beautiful photos, but bad typography. Then Sonora, hmm which is really nice. Okay. Uh, except I hate the menu, like the, the typography in the menu. Mm. Hmm. Well, let's... Main Street, what does that mean? Yeah, I'm just finding this a little... Services. About. Okay, well, I, I can't deal with how small the default typography is. It just looks really bad. Sonora, past events. Okay, well let's go with let's go with Sonora. I think that's worth experimenting with. So we'll start with this design. Okay, so it's taken a minute to boot up here. Welcome to your new Squarespace site. Almost ready to go. A few optional questions. What is this website about? Health and fitness. Site goals. Good question. I actually kind of want to screenshot this. Um, I feel like I should ask this to my clients. What are your goals for this website? Okay, collect contact info. Sell services online is about the closest. Because I would eventually like to, uh, to be offering meditation counseling through this site. Who is this website for me? Please fill in a title for your website. So the title I'm going with is Thrive with a V in the for because the website sort of has five main the the business has five main parts to it. So the V is kind of like a like a five like a Roman numeral V. Okay, so we'll call it Thrive. All right, so here we are. We're in there a little sort of WYSIWYG drag and drop kind of interface. Let's see what I'm able to do. 
So I'm going to edit the site title. The first thing I'll do is call it Thrive. And how do I save this? Tagline, tagline. Let's just try that. Okay, save. Here we go. Okay, great. So let's get rid of the tagline because we don't actually want that. Save it again. Okay, now it's called Thrive. That's great. Let's see what we can do with a logo here. Um, let's see. Ton of stuff on my computer, so forgive me. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. So let's see. Well, this is the logo. It's so crude. Um, do I have a good, good version of the logo at all? Oops. Ah, I like this. Okay, good. So we'll use thrive.png. Can I drag and drop? Nope. Okay, so let's say all right. Green or blue? Let's do blue. Let's do green. Okay. All right, so this is our logo. We can even add a fav icon. Uh, I wonder what their guidelines are. Let's just try this. Okay, social sharing logo. Uh, I don't know what that is. So, okay. There's our logo. It's smaller than I want. Is there anything I can do about that? Can I drag it out? Let's see. Site title, edit. No, that's not working. Feature, okay. So there is no way for me to make this larger. All right, that's fine, unless I can. See, let's do an inspect element here. What's making this thing so small? Site padding icons medium. Max width 90 pixels. Okay, so that's not very wide. Site, header, branding, here we go. Okay, good, so it's a little slider thing. So let's say we can make it up to 170. Oh, I don't like when sliders won't let you land on round numbers. Ugh, that's so annoying. Let me land on 170, please. Nope, okay, fine. Okay, 180. So it only does odd numbers or something. Okay, come on. 175, no, 180, oh my god, okay, 190, all right, so that's our logo, all right, so that's our style for now, okay, good, now let's get a good featured image um, in place here, so logo and title, let's do home and see what we got, pages, main navigation, about, so I guess these are all the pages, what is about? Oh, so it's an inner page. Okay, so let's go to home. Maybe do design. No, I, I want to go back to the home page. Okay. So, oh, maybe banner? To edit demo content. Nope. What? Site title edit. Okay, can't do that. Feature. Setting. Wait, why can't I click? Okay, there we go. Settings. All right, create a page like this. All right, create. Feature. I don't understand this. Navigation title, feature, the name for this page. Hmm. Why do I have to create a page when I already have the home page? I don't understand that. But let's try it. All right. So what pages do we have? I don't see home anywhere. I guess this is it. Okay, can I edit the banner now? Come on, set settings. Come on. 
Okay, this is frustrating. I don't know why this is hard. Like, all I want is to edit. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> well, that's weird. All right, what I really want is to edit the banner image. How the hell? Oh, God. Okay, this is so frustrating. Please don't watch this. <laughs> okay, I got it. Now banner. Okay, so there we go. Now I can edit the featured image. So I'm going to, oh, I don't want to edit the image. I want to remove it and replace it with something else. So I'm going to, oh, please. Okay. Uh, there is something that I don't understand about, like, how to edit the banner. Because I'm, I'm having to play this, like, cat and mouse game with, with the drop down, And it's really, really, really annoying me. Okay, finally, I got it. Okay, so I'm going to remove this featured image. And I'm going to add, oh, I could add from Getty. No, never mind. I already have. All right. So, uh, let's try this for starters. So it's uploading. Okay, and it's I think it's asking where the focus is. I'm not exactly sure, but let's just sort of say that it's in the middle. Hmm. All right, kind of fuzzy a little bit. Let me just see what the original size of the image is. 3,700 wide, so it shouldn't be fuzzy. I guess it must be auto, like auto um, resizing it so the image, so the site loads quickly, which, you know, I, I have no argument with. All right, so now what do we need to do? Thrive logo, Thrive colors and fonts. Okay, we'll see about that later. Um, copy on five areas, PDF ebook for sale in exchange for mail chimp sign up. Let's see what we can do about that. So we would really want like a call to action going on here. So we have this little sun design that we don't actually want. And that removed everything. Okay. So we don't want the image. Remove this block, yes. All right, now the text. Hmm. Get the free ebook. Uh, strengthen, whoa. Strengthen your meditation practice today. Get the free ebook. Now, does this link anywhere or is it just, just information? Also, why is the heading, why is the heading two so tiny? Whew. So that's a heading one. That's a heading two. Um, and there's no way to edit that. I guess not. Okay. Probably in styles, I would think, right? Design. Style editor. Site header top header layout hmm main overlay okay heading two. Oh, nice so we can change the font and stuff all right so it's 14 pixels which is a little small for an h2 if you're asking me okay okay well we can leave that Okay, and this is a heading one, get the free ebook. All right. Now, can I make this link to, can I make this link to something? I guess I can make it link on the page to something else. Let's just see if I'm able to do that. Ebook. 
Oh, I can link to another page. Wait, this links to page now? Did I do that or not? Okay, so let's just save. Now, is this a link? Yeah, it's a link. And where does it go? It goes to home. Ugh. All right. So let's go back. What is this? This is about... To edit demo content, you must first create a page like this. That's confusing me. And it looks like we might have lost our homepage copy. So that's also confusing me. Uh, did I just lose? I guess I just lost the changes I made. I'm not sure why. OK, this is about, this is home. Okay, so here's home, but it looks like unlinked pages are public but do not appear in navigation. Well, I don't really want home to appear in navigation. I just want it, I just want the banner to look like this. Maybe I can do that with settings. Advanced? Hmm. Okay. Well, what I really want, I don't understand this. The navigation, the main navigation says about. Oh, look at this. When I go to the home page, this is back. All right, whatever. All right, so about. We're going to edit the about page. We'll create a page like this, whatever that means. Um. Okay, learn five key perspectives on your meditation practice. Oh God, I hit tab and something bad happened. I guess it just went down to went down a page. Okay, learn five key perspectives on your meditation practice. Get the thrive. Free ebook now. Okay. And this is supposed to be what? Just a spacer. Well, I don't like that very much. There should at least be an image in here. Is there something to do about that? How do I create something new? Oh, plus. Plus image. Okay, add an image. Ugh, this book cover is very ugly because I made it a long time ago, but <laughs> no, I, I can't bring myself to use that. Um, what is their Getty Images thing all about? Getty Images. Okay, edit the image. Getty Images, what do you got for me? Uh, okay. Bunch of couches. Why does it? Oh, interior design. No. Meditation. Yep, this is about what stock photography is for meditation. Spirit, body, mind. Bunch of people cross legged looking at suns rising and setting. <sighs> okay, well, I guess I can live with a lotus. <laughs> All right, and we can live with a watermark. But I don't want it here. I want it somewhere else. All right, so I don't want you here. Can I just drag you? No, that didn't do anything. So we've got a space, where, where is our spacer? Our spacer's here, our image is here. Maybe it's under design? Nope. Okay, what if we undo stretch? Didn't do anything. What if we, I, oh, 
how does their thing work? Do you get to drag stuff into different... Oh, hey! Wait, I think that did something. Yeah, I don't want it to the left. I want it kind of under... Yep, yeah, whoa! I almost had it. Hey! All right, now if we just delete the spacer... Yes. Ah, that's really pretty, actually. Okay. Okay. Get the Thrive Free ebook now. Okay. And we're just going to, I'm not going to put you through me writing a bunch of pretend copies, so we're going to use Lorem Ipsum. All right. Now, I want this to be a MailChimp thing. I want I want you to be able to get my ebook, but only if you if you give me your email address in MailChimp. So how do I do that? I think this is the about page I just edited. Let's let's just have a look here. Mm, so oh, we have this weird. So we have like two. I'm so confused. These things are not linked, whatever that means. And then there's like these things, but they're like demo stuff or I'm really confused by that. Let me just add the about page. Uh, no. How do I? Well, I've already made the page. I don't need to create it. Hmm. What if I just drag it up? Oh, that works. All right. Ugh. But then the home page is gone. So what if I just drag that up? Yeah, this is not good. Uh, what just happened? Optional. So oh, set his homepage. Yes. Wait, that didn't. That did nothing. That did nothing. Okay. That did nothing. Uh oh. So how were how were they doing the like the one pagey thing that was going on here? Okay, can I undo a bunch of stuff? Undo is not working. Okay. Hmm. Well, how, how does this work? Schedule, wait, if I scroll down, no, that's all I get. Wait, undo, oh God. Okay, wait. How was it all one pagey? Media, advanced. Nothing. I already said it as the home page. That didn't do anything. Why? Why is it possible? What was it that made these other things? Hmm. Oh, man. Template. No, nope. I already like the template I've got. <sighs> Advanced? No, 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 no. Mobile information bar, probably not. Commerce analytics settings could be settings. Website. Basic information. No, probably none of this. Design. Page style editor? What is checkout page? Oh, like literally, oh, that's, e okay. So this is e-commerce, so that's not what I need. Oh God, maybe help? Ugh. Okay, Squarespace, I lost my one page layout. Um, no, okay. 
this is frustrating. How did we do this? It the demo pages all went onto like one all went below the home page. How did that happen? Ugh. Oh, I really wish they had a better undo button. Because What do I do? Just embed pages? Let me search for page. Oh, I don't see it. Map, spacer, wall, text. Oh, this is frustrating. Okay, this is the intro, it thinks. What do I do with that? No, this isn't what I want. Okay. I've already looked at the settings a million times. Oh, oh, maybe it's the the two things above it. How do I create a two things thing like this? What what is this? Okay, so I'm going to create another main navigation thing that Oh, index. All right. Home. Nope. Get into my index, please. Ha! Huh. Click the plus to get started adding sections. Wait, why am I creating this from scratch? This isn't... No, I, 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 I want... No, die. How do I make you talk to each other? How do they talk to each other down here? Somehow divider is a sub sub guy of okay, what if I drag home back down here? No? Oh, it's maybe it's because it's set as the home page that's the problem. Settings. Do not set as home page. How do I make you not set as the home page? Now I can't do that. Oh, God. Okay, what can I make? Okay, so about. Nice. So that means. Wait, okay. So if home, oh, so I guess I just have to edit, edit the banner again. Okay, that's fine. Add an image. Does it save my images? Did you save the images I already uploaded? I suppose you did not. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Great, so this is our thumbnail thing. Oh, no. It thinks about is the first thing. Oh, God. No, do not be the homepage, please. Do not be the homepage. Do not. Assign a new home page. Can I assign this to be in my home page? Settings. Set as home page. Nice. Okay, good. So the index is my home page. All right. So we're all set. We have an index section thing. And then home can be. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, we did it. But now the about page looks super weird, and that must be because we gave it a background image, which we didn't mean to do. So we do banner, we remove everything, and we save. All right, so we've now we've got two sections, and I'll fix the nav later. 
Actually, I'll fix it now. Now, how do I... No, this is the main navigation. Now, why... How do I feature you in the navigation? Hmm. Okay, well, I'll figure out the navigation later. All right. So this is home and about. I don't really need schedule. Well, I'll just leave it because it's a demo page. Hmm. Okay, so what I wanted to do is on the about page, I want it to be a MailChimp sign up. So where do I even go to look for that? Let's see. Commerce, analytics. Maybe it's like an add new thing. So we'll go to pages. Plus. Maybe it's maybe maybe it's a new thing in the page content. Okay, so we're editing the page content. And I'm gonna add okay, I didn't mean to do that. And I wanna add a new thing. Okay, yeah, in this section. That's that that makes sense. Alright. Markdown quote. Gallery, code, calendar, newsletter. Okay, so they don't do MailChimp specifically, I guess. Okay, so you you can't get a MailChimp embed. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Storage. Oh, no, you can. MailChimp. Awesome. All right. Uh, who? I do not want you to see <laughs> our MailChimp password. Uh, okay, what can I do about that? Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think I have this one memorized. Nice. So if we just fine. So you are set up. Wow, that was pretty easy. Okay, so that's a Mailchimp subscribe now. Hmm, I would like you to only be as wide as the yes. Oh, this is a really good like draggy, droppy page builder. Ah, uh, that was really easy. Okay, great. So if you get the free ebook, then I guess what I would do is like in MailChimp, I would like it to, maybe I could, maybe I'd have to set it in MailChimp that that's when you get the PDF. I'm not sure. Because it doesn't look like that there's really a setting here that lets me do that. I guess I could thank you and then link link a file. Okay. All right, so let's up let's upload Okay. So we'll say apply. And what I want to do is I want to upload I want to upload a PDF. Okay. So let me save this cuz this looks great. So we've got our home page, we've got our mail thing. I want to add I want to add media. All right. Well, I can't do that. So media. I don't no, I don't want to create a thumbnail image. I want to Oh, maybe I have to do like a new section or something. Hmm. Embed. What is an embed? Form, newsletter, product. Hmm. Can I create a product that you only get when you sign up with MailChimp? Hmm. 
Nah. Can I? Seventy-five dollars. No, I, I guess what I'll have to. I guess what I'll have to pretend I did is I went into the my Mailchimp account, and I like made it so that you get a link to the PDF in the like your subscription is confirmed email. But but I will say that the actual Mailchimp signup is super easy, which is awesome. Cool. So we're done editing about which is like the big call to action. Ah, let's change this image out for something else. Um, something more vertical, maybe. Uh, let's see. Well, whatever. Let's, let's, let's get one of their other stock images in there. Just one that's a little more vertical because it seems like the space it's next to is vertical. Um, nice. So orientation is vertical. Boy, that's convenient. People love these rocks. That's what meditation is. Just a bunch of rocks on top of each other. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, this is pretty good. So we'll use the orchid. All right, preview on site. Oh, pretty. All right, yeah, that's pretty. Boy, I wish I knew how to take photos. Um, like stock quality photography. Look, they even got the purple in there. I'm pretty sure that's Photoshop, but I could be wrong. All right, so we have a home page, and I want this call to action to go to the about page, and instead it's going over here, so I don't like that. So let's try to fix that next. Pages, home. Cool, get your meditation practice today. Edit. I want you not to go to a page. I'm gonna edit, I'm gonna edit your link, okay. Edit. Hmm. Files. Content. Index. New index. Hmm. Yeah, that probably didn't do anything, but let's just see. So it just goes to the, yeah, it just goes to the top of itself. So I'm going to edit this text. Oh, double clicking does something. Like double clicking edits the text, which is good. That's what I wanted it to do. Cause single clicking actually follows the link, but then I don't just want you to go to new index. I want you to go to the about section under new index. Is that possible? Mm. <sighs> okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to do, can I give you an ID? Can I give the about page an ID? So I'm gonna have you, okay, now is the time when we cheat and look in our console thing. So it's just going slash new index. So I'm just gonna go slash new index. And then hash about. And call that good. All right, now can I give you an ID? Text. You've got to have some settings, right? Do you not? Do you have no settings? I can't make you a link can only make you link to things. That's not good. Uh, maybe, okay. About, edit. Nope, that's not what I wanted. About, settings. Okay, so I could do it with page header code injection. Oh, maybe this will work. No. 
that's for the page. Okay, let's do a page header code injection. Is weird. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work, but okay. So we injected a little empty link into this page. Uh, I think that actually worked. All right, so let's just, I think this is the thing that says, okay, now you're previewing your actual site. So, ha, huh, look at that. And it's even got nice JavaScript scrolling. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. All right, and we've got our MailChimp subscribe. I know I could give people the PDF if they did the MailChimp subscribe thing. Stuff's looking good. PDF ebook for sale in exchange for MailChimp sign up. Yeah, we're going to say we got that. I don't think that's actually possible. Like, I don't think that sequence is actually possible directly through Squarespace, but, but yeah. Um, uses Thrive colors and fonts. Honestly, I kind of like the design they've got. And that's, that's an experience I've had a couple of times when I've briefly worked with Squarespace before is it's like, why fight the design they've got? Like, just, just let it be what it is. Um, and if it's not compatible with your vastly uglier logo, then I guess that's life. Um, copy on five areas. Yeah, so... Yeah, this would be the next section, is I, I want, like, a... I want a bunch of text that succinctly introduces the five different meditation uh, areas that I'm that I'm working with so let me just see workshops and demos which one of these little demo pages looks the most like what I want not really this one not the divider which is just a guy's hand okay so the dividers are interesting they're like these sections with the crazy whatever's I don't really actually think I want any of those but hmm okay this is probably pretty close. Brands. Let me just make sure that... Oh, look at that. Really pretty black and white. Um, black and white Google Maps. I really like that. All right, so let's do brands. And, and I, I like this sort of four thing they've got going. And I, I might need the same thing, but just need it to be five. Let's see brands. Okay, so now you're a section of index. Um, maybe I'm going to rename you. Can I rename you? Get the ebook. All right. And you, I rename. Huh. What? Oh, it's saying. Okay, so it's saying. Don't make this demo content, it has to be real. All right, get the ebook about Thrive. So that means probably that I wanna actually go into settings here and hmm. get the ebook. All right, so that's your URL slug and I'm gonna to go to advanced and I'm gonna say ebook. And I'm gonna go up to top to home and I'm gonna probably, whoops, I actually followed the link, double click it, there we go. Double click it, say text. And I'm gonna edit it to be, come on. I'm gonna edit it, edit please. To be ebook instead of about. And enter saves it, that's really cool. All right. So here's the next, so where's, why, <laughs> where did this section go? It should be, it should be the next thing below get the ebook, should it not? It's like it's not showing up at all. Where did it go? Okay, what if I put it above? Okay, so there it is. And there's get the ebook. 
Now, if I switch the two, why would the about one just disappear? Okay, it doesn't. So that's just Squarespace being kind of buggy, I guess. All right, well, whatever. Okay, so... All right, so... All right, so now I'm editing this page, I guess. Um, five, five facets in your meditation practice. Thrive. Okay. Hmm, it's a little ugly. I, I'm really suspicious of the of the impulse to like drag because I'm just. I hope it snap. Does it? Oh, look at that! It snaps to. Uh, it snaps to convenient like ratios. That's really nice because I get really like uptight about like dragging, and then this one is like sixty one point four percent wide, and this one is like you know thirty nine point six or whatever. But it seems like this one snaps to like like ratios between the two columns that are actually like sane. So that's really, really good. All right, so can I make this thing five wide? Hmm. Well, what is this thing? This is just a line divider. Don't know if I want that. Yikes, this, these things, oh, okay. It's kind of hard to get to the call of the row that's actually holding all these things. Is this it? No, shit. this is just me getting to add another one. So what about group, Oop, no. Can I group blocks together? Can I like shift, can I, okay. I can select multiple blocks, cool. Now can I duplicate? Hmm. Uh, right. Well, I guess I just have to duplicate everything one by one. Um. This is not helping, really. Yeah, I don't understand how to do this. Um. Paste is plain text. Nope. Copy and paste. Copy, paste. Doesn't do anything. Copy, paste. Doesn't do anything. Select this thing. Copy, paste. Nope. Okay, so this is frustrating. I want to add another thing just like these other four, but I can't. I can't actually like duplicate anything. I, I just have to add another image by hand that's exactly the same as these four. Is that accurate? That feels annoying. <sighs> okay. I also don't know a way to add a fifth column in here. That's also annoying. So if I add an image, right? Oh, and I can't even really get the images that they for, I, like I can't reuse the images they've already got. Oh no, this is really annoying. Okay, so never mind. Can I Can I add something to the left of this image? No, but I can add something below it. Okay. Whatever. Let's just do a, yeah. So there's my new image. Good, so I do want that. Now, okay, so I can put to the left. That's ugly. Okay. And undo is not doing anything. That's not good. Okay, wait. Oh yeah, this is, this is, huh. 
I don't think this is going to be easy. Hmm. Because now these two things, wait, wait, did it actually work? One, two, three, because it feels like these three things are the same width now. And then we just have to, I think I'm just going to get rid of these little line thingies. Don't actually want them. I think they're making everything a little more confusing. I might try to put them back in later because they're well designed, but all right. So I just want you to go under this image. Good. Nice. And then now I also, it says right here. No, nope, that's not good. Like why, can, can I not cop, like, can I not duplicate elements? Like I just want something, another one that's exactly like this. Can I not duplicate them? Oh my God. Why can I not duplicate elements? Why can I not duplicate elements? Hmm. Okay, so I copy the whole element. I can move it under this thing. Can I move it? Yeah, I can, I can move it under this thing. So that's a win, but I cannot copy it. Wait, I'm going to copy it. Now I want to paste it. I cannot copy and paste. So I cannot duplicate elements. That's really dumb. Is that really true? I can't duplicate elements in Squarespace. Uh, I also want this line to be wide. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, it, it must be, are there spacers to the side of it? Like what, why won't this line get wide? Line, please get wide. Double clicking doesn't do anything. Clicking the word line doesn't do anything. Right clicking doesn't do anything. No. <sighs> so layout is turning out to be pretty frustrating if you try to go outside of what they already give you. Uh, and also, I did not mean to do that, but undo is not is not doing anything, and it messed up my entire column thing that I had going. Hmm. Ooh. I mean, I could do this. Ugh. So wait, now all the columns are different widths. Like they're all way different widths. Wait, why are they such different widths now? Well, that they're different widths because this thing thinks it's part of, it thinks it's part of both of these, but I just want it to be part of, oh God, wait. Good, now it knows. And now this thing, well, What's going on here? Yeah, just be to the right of this. Just be to the right. No. Okay. Just be to the... Uh, this is really frustrating. Who? Can I edit this image and tell it how wide to be? Nope. Can't even do that. Please only be 20% wide. Okay, I'm gonna put you here. Oh, now you get tiny. And I can't undo. I can't undo, is that seriously? <sighs> Why are you so tiny? I just, I just want you to be the same size as this image. Why are you so tiny? You are so tiny because, because you think that you're supposed to go next to stuff when in fact, you should go below stuff. Oh God. Okay, so that, so are we all the same size? No, this thing's still huge. Wait. Uh, 
So like somehow these these images. No, 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 no. I cannot believe I can't undo the things that I'm doing here. I mean, it's that feels so. Okay, good. So this is five. Okay, so these five things are the same width, but I can't copy. I just have to. Okay, so I just. I guess I just create a new text thing is what I do. So I do plus text. Here's this useless text box that I can put wherever I want, I guess. Okay. <laughs> well, that was incredibly, incredibly, incredibly complicated. Um, but it probably wouldn't be if I would have known what I was doing. Now, this line I want to be full width, but I can't really make that happen, it seems. I guess. All right. So whatever. That's a lost cause. So we're going to remove these weird Illuminati images and we'll just, we'll add in the, I've only got three of them on hand, but there's a total of five images like that correspond to like different, different uh, qualities of a good meditation practice. And I've got three of them here, so we'll just end up reusing a couple of them. Okay, so that looks good. Now we're going to edit this image. We're going to remove it. And we'll use the one we haven't used yet, which is committed, which is also the home page. Um, like featured image. Hmm, that looks good, but why is it so much wider? Why are you so much bigger than everything else? Yeah, the sizes aren't aren't uniform again. That's really bothering me. Oh no, that wasn't good. <laughs> okay, if I put you to the, oh God. Oh my God, this is a nightmare. All right, so are the sizes even now? No, they're not. The The right stuff is way bigger. Hmm. All right, so what we need to do is probably give up, but I'm gonna take about another maybe minute and try to figure out why these fourth and fifth columns are so much bigger than the, than the other three. Okay. All right. No. It's like one, you get one pixel and you can't undo. That's the, <clears throat> that's the crazy part is you can't undo. Oh my God. Okay. Maybe what I should have been doing this whole time is going to the left. Yeah. Going to the left of this big line. Okay. Now if I drag this down below here, then this becomes huge. All right, well, big line, then drag below. Ha. Huh. Big line, drag below. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, this is a lost cause. I don't I don't think I don't think I'm going to figure out how to do this. So, Okay, I give up. So what else did I want to do? Yeah, I just have no idea why these are such different sizes. 
absolutely no idea. Um, okay, whatever. Oh, and I just lost. Okay, so this text has to come up. So the drag and drop is pretty good, but... Oh, God, stop. Oh, my God. No, stop. Are you serious? <laughs> uh, what was that? <sighs> Look where it went. Okay, so I bet it ruined, like, layout stuff elsewhere. God, okay, well, yeah, this this is turning into a nightmare. So, okay, there. So scrolling with, like, pieces of text that you're holding doesn't appear to work that well. All right, so I have no idea how to do columns, basically. Um, am I missing something? Probably. Let's just do plus grid. Social blocks. It doesn't seem to actually have layout like options, really. Wall, probably not. Carousel, no. Hmm, maybe I'm not missing anything, but it is very, very, very hard to uh, to do columns in Squarespace. It appears. Maybe I'm missing something. Who knows? All right. So, well, that's gross. God, uh, that's not fun to look at. All right. Whatever. So, what did I want to do? The next thing I wanted to do was a booking form and a blog section. I don't think I have the energy to do the booking form. But I would like to do a blog section, so I'm just going to delete all this stuff, attend, registration, travel, past events, and stuff. And I'm even going to, I guess, delete the booking section because I don't, I don't have the energy. But let's just see how a blog section works. So, oh, and let's, uh, let's start renaming stuff. Um... About uh wait, I, I don't actually want I don't want this index on the nav. I want the I want the little sub things of the index on the nav. Can I put you in the nav? Navigation title get the ebook. That looks good. Now get in the nav, please. Hmm. Oh, do they drop down? No, they don't. Uh, okay, so I'm stuck with a nav that I can't use. How do I fix that? Okay. Get the ebook. Right, yes, I know, but... <clears throat> No, I don't want to create a new page. I just want this page. Okay, the page is enabled. It's got a URL slug. Maybe it's in advance. No, that's just nothing. Hmm. Well, look at this. Now the two nav, oh, maybe I get to edit the nav directly? No, clicking this does nothing. Okay, that sucks. <sighs> what is going on? <laughs> How do I change the nav? Index, manage sections. Maybe that's what we need. Hey, this is a pretty good, this is a pretty cool view, actually. That is pretty cool. It is really bothering me that this is not clear how to 
maybe maybe I have to get into the settings of the index itself. Tags and categories, that's not interesting. Banner. Some templates sur uh, surface this description. Navigation title about. Don't really want that. Let's, uh, can I still look at the theme demo? Squarespace. I'm already logged in, so don't make me log in again. All right, so what theme are we using? Uh, I'll, I'll know when I see it. I think it was like pro professional, right? It was professional and it has like something about how, yeah, here we go. All right, let's preview it. No, I already know what it looks like. All right, fine, we'll start with this. All right, welcome to your site. All right, all right. So just random answers. Oh, skip, good, thank you. Skip, 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 thank you, thank you. Done. So, attend has two drop downs. Wow, am I confused. If it's site title, so these actually are different pages. An annual affair. Huh. This is the about page. It's the about page. Why does it show up single scroll? An annual affair, the Sonoma experience. <sighs> so maybe these things. starting to get tired. Uh, I don't want to figure this out. Uh, can I just add links? I guess I can just manually add links to stuff, right? <laughs> kind of a defeat, but I don't want to link to about is the problem. Like, <clears throat> how do I I mean, we need a home page in theory, right? Like, what what is the home page? Didn't you say you needed a home page? I guess not. Not linked. Oh, they're public but don't appear in the navigation. Perfect. So that means we can do. Oh, I think I know what we do. Get the ebook about Thrive, and then these things are not linked. I mean, don't don't appear in the nav. Okay, but that means <laughs> that means what? <sighs> okay, so now what does our website look like? It looks like nothing. It looks like nothing. Then I go to get the ebook and it's a new page. Then I go to do this and it's another new page. <laughs> Okay, that's not bad. Oh, I know. Okay, I think I finally figured it out. So, so we do home. We do, we get all the subsections going on so that they're hidden and not linked. So the whole, wait, so I, the home page should 
look the way I want in a minute. I think Squarespace is just lagging. And then I create links to like get the ebook. And I add, and the URL is just going to be slash about ebook. I'm not actually sure, but let's try that. Okay, now please let this home index thing be the home page, meaning that lots of stuff shows up. I'm going to reload. Not good. Not good. Not good. The index doesn't have, it's not showing any of its sections. What the heck? Did we just lose our two sections? Oh, so it's not, it's not actually saving properly is the issue. There we go. All right. Now, if we do about thrive, we get our hideous. <laughs> oh God, this is so ugly. We get this. All right. And then, now let me see, does this actually, nap? hmm, I don't want it to go there. I don't want it to go to a new page. I want it to, about slash ebook. What if I just do slash, nope. Is that going to work? Okay, I think it's just a broken link now. Okay, so if I do settings, forget the ebook, and I say the advanced is AID equals ebook, and then if I do a console inspect, ID equals ebook, I don't find it anywhere. Hmm. All right, and then let's just do settings on this. Hmm. Can I actually just change the URL slug to, oh no, it won't let me. How is it set up here? Okay, so it, it is hard re, it is hard refreshing. When I do about it, hard refreshes. But when I scroll down, I get things that I can't actually navigate to. Interesting, all right. So I have to kind of hack it to make it work. So I'll do advanced and I'll say a ID equals about. So this should be going to slash hash ebook. And then if I do this, it should be, uh, you know, about, and it should be going to slash hash about save. I don't think that actually works, but whatever. I could probably figure out a way to make that work if I had enough time. Okay. I am going to waste my own time a little more by trying to get these columns to look halfway decent because it's, it's actually killing me. Um. <laughs> Cool. Well, that's an improvement. Okay. Oh, good. Hey, the, the drag and drop is decent. Oh, that feels good. I just want to tell you to be 20% wide. Can I, can I not do that? Nope, I guess I can't. And there's, there's no sort of like, there's no idea of an actual column at any point. Let's see. If I just select all of you guys, you plus you. Nope, can't even do that. Come on, select and select. Okay. All right, so. No. Nope. All right, well, I feel like columns might be completely broken. Like, I feel like this is just, this is either broken or I have no idea 
it's it's very simple and very smart and i have no idea to use it because yeah uh, this is just this is just a nightmare all right so uh oh look at that i took the horizontal rule thingy and broke it it's down here somewhere probably yep here it is okay now i can't stop scrolling oh my god all right <laughs> Yeah, I mean, drag and drop page builders are like, it's hard to, it's hard to make a good one. All right, well, I, yeah, I give up on this again. All right, so screw that. And also kind of screw navigation. And then let's just, for kicks, let's just, so these are some blog entries, I guess. And then I could go in and edit this one. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Simple post title. And if I just do some lorem ipsum here. Oh, tags, categories. Very nice. Options. Ooh, a little featured image going on. We'll do the tree again. Cool, let's save and publish. So what just happened? <laughs> Did nothing just happen? I thought I did something, but no. Missing item. What? All right, well, can I just delete all these sample things? Oh, good. Okay, so Squarespace seems to have like some delays where like stuff doesn't save when you think it would. But this is pretty. It used my featured image, it turned it into like sort of a square, and then I guess it didn't actually use it on the thing itself, but settings? Options. Thumbnail image looks like this. Is it a featured post? No. Social. All right. Let's uh, let's just add something for the heck of it. What could we add? Like a YouTube video? Yeah. YouTube. Brad Meldow. Okay. So we'll just add a video of a YouTube and apply nice except that's way too big so settings nope okay, I'm gonna save this where'd the video go where did the video go hello can I just drop a video in here? Yep. Okay, we'll do apply again. There's the video. I must have to save for that to work. Okay, so there we go. Now I wish to make the video not so wide. And how do I do that? Edit. Hmm. So it looks like there's no there's no embedding videos in a, oh, look, so I could put it to the side here. More, more column stuff. Okay, good, so it does that. What if I say I want the video to be wider? Oh God, I, oh God. Okay, you know, the lack of an undo button is like, is really, really getting to me. Cause like, if I make a layout decision and I want it to change and I can't undo it, it's just, it's so bad. Okay, so interesting. So this is always going to be indented and there's nothing I can do about that. Um, and then how this embeds, I, I can, for example, I could, I could probably make it just the size of the text. Oh, that's what it was. Well, hmm, that's a little, seems a little deceiving because I just want it to be that big, but it, instead it, whatever. 
So if I want it there, then it makes the text too small. If I want it, yeah, that's nice. Okay, whatever, I can live with that. All right, so now we save. And let's just look at our site, our quote finished site. So, so it does video embedding well. The blog looks really simple to, to manage. The nav doesn't work right now, sadly, but um, I'm sure I could figure that out with a couple more hours of poking. Um, this thing where I tried to create a five column layout out of a thing that was originally four columns is a waking nightmare. I have no idea how to do that. The drag and drop seems utterly unresponsive. The lack of an undo is like, is killing me. Um, again, I'm sure with a few hours of work, you know, if I'd built five Squarespace sites back to back, I'm, I'm sure I would know how to do this, but the experience so far is just terrible. Um, really nice, really easy MailChimp integration. I don't know how feature rich it is. Like, it seems like options wise, it might only let you like demand like a name. So if you have like a, you know, a more, a more complicated sort of MailChimp thing, like maybe you want to know what country people are from or something. I don't know if Squarespace makes that possible. Um, and overall, the, yeah, the design's really nice. You know, the site looks, just when you're looking at it, it looks really professional, really thoughtfully designed, really spacious. I love, I really love the typography, the, the big, you know, serif font. So yeah, I mean, not bad for an hour and a half you know, less than, less than two hours of work. And then the stuff that's sort of like making me pull my hair out, I'm sure I could figure out in about, in about as much time. So, you know, I would have an informational site with a blog and a MailChimp sign up in not very long at all, a few hours. So yeah, Squarespace is pretty cool for that. I, I do think that like the lack of flexibility relative to a WordPress site would, would get difficult. Um, but look at that. I actually made my about nav work. So it's just this one that doesn't work. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, so that's a video of me just blundering into Squarespace and trying to see what I can make work. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And, and this will obviously be tied to a, to a post on WP Shout. I don't expect anybody to just watch me be confused for two hours and be like, well, oh, great. That was a good use of my only life. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sort of summarize some of the, some of this process into a, into a WP shout post. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.